How's it going, everybody? Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer here, Wrestling Observer Radio, May 17, 2022, figure4online.com slash wrestlingobserver.com. we got a lot of news to get into here today, including the Raw show, which we'll get to later, but obviously the big, show, uh, the big story coming out of the Raw show was uh, Sasha Banks walking out of Raw, followed by Naomi. Main event of the show... They, they pretty much both walked out. Yes. The uh, main event of the show is supposed to be a six-pack challenge to determine who would be facing Bianca at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, but after they walked out, they shot an angle on air, and they changed it from the six-pack challenge to just a one-on-one match with Becky and Asuka, presumably because they figured, well... They can do a uh, singles match on short notice, and yep. uh, that was the main event. So what happened? Well, there's a lot of it that's still, um, I mean, as far as the reasons go, a lot probably will be getting out tomorrow and not really clear about all of it. It's. I mean, Naomi was going to win the match and challenge uh, Bianca Belair for the championship on the pay-per-view. So it wasn't about them getting buried in the match or anything like that. But there were there was something that happened, and it may have to do with contract situation um, with one or both of them. Um, but it was both of them. It wasn't you know. It's like I think that some of it was like Sasha, you know, was the one, and Naomi left with her. But it, from what I was told, it was both of them. You know, it wasn't like um, you know one followed the leader or anything like that. And there is a lot of there's. You know, there's going to be heat because, I mean, in the sense that they walked out as the show was going on. I mean, the show opened, they announced the main event, and then whatever it was, 45 minutes into the show, they just sort of said, oh, Naomi and Sasha Banks left. And, you know, and there's like, yeah, no explanation, no even attempt at an explanation of why the other two women, Nikki and Dewdrop, were taken out other than, I would guess the idea is, is that at that late of a notice, they knew, um, you know, um, Asuka and Becky Lynch have been working matches, um, not a lot, but they've worked at the house shows already. Uh, I think they worked uh, two matches this weekend. So they were ready. They have a match ready. And um, I know some people are just like, oh, you know, before people would show up five minutes before the match and, and, be able to do it but you know it's a four-way and they wanted to be safe and i don't really know given that with naomi out and the decision that um oscar was going over i don't know that nikki nikki and uh Dewdrop add anything to the match anyway so it was probably in that sense i mean it weakens the match in a, in a main event situation and the direct singles match is a better match to main event the show so you know that at, at that point, um, you know that was uh, at that point that was probably the best way to go, and and you know they were probably in there, uh, you know, to do the job or shoot an angle or something like that that wasn't really necessary anymore. But um, yes, yeah, some issues with the contract, and uh, I think that you know more will probably be coming out as to the why. You know what, what they were unhappy about. It wasn't something that just happened tonight. Um, it was something. I don't know how much you know was built. Some of it was building up and things like that. So um, when WWE sent out the release, you know they explained that. Uh, I've got to read they, this release here. Let me read this okay. thing because this is funny on a lot of levels. So WWE, this is from WWE. This statement here. When Sasha Banks and Naomi arrived at the arena this afternoon, they were informed of their participation in the main event of tonight's Monday Night Raw. During the broadcast, they walked into WWE Head of Talent Relations John Laurinaitis' office with their suitcases in hand, placed their tag team championship belts on his desk, and walked out. They wrote belts, by the way. They claimed they weren't respected enough as tag team champions, and even though they had eight hours to rehearse and construct their match... They claimed they were uncomfortable in the ring with two of their opponents, even though they'd had matches with those individuals in the past with no consequence. Monday Night Raw is a scripted live TV show whose characters are expected to perform the requirements of their contract. We regret we were unable to deliver, as advertised, tonight's main event. I laughed 
uproariously at that last. I know, night. I know. When when you when you consider that they um, don't deliver the matches advertised on such a high percentage of the of the shows to begin with, yeah. So I mean, one of the you know it's a, it's a tricky thing because they said that they did not announce any suspensions or anything like that. Um, obviously, we don't have any idea what's going to happen with the tag team championships, but another key to this is that Naomi is obviously the uh, wife of Jimmy Uso, and Jimmy yes. Uso is the cousin of Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns wields an incredible amount of power. So if Roman Reigns is going to back them, and we don't know that he will, or thinks that they were uh, somehow mistreated, um, it becomes a bigger issue. If he doesn't, then it's not a bigger issue, and then, then at that point they probably could suspend them but i don't know that they really want to would want to do that because the depth issue right now when they're focusing on so many so few people um i don't think they want to suspend people right now but you know sometimes you may have to so this is a kind of an ongoing story and we're going to wait and see how it all you know what the reasons are that this happened um the story of not feeling respected as champions could be that uh you know, they've got a contract coming up, and uh, maybe they were offered less money than they were expecting, uh, considering, you know, when you have the whole thing where the women, as a general rule, and this is, this can always be one of those things, the women, as a general rule, make less than the men, but more and more and more, the women have been positioned, I don't want to say equal to the men, but not as far behind the men as, as in the past. And perhaps that, uh, you know, they see what... Some other people who have been, you know, signed recent contracts that they feel they are as important or more important to are getting. And, you know, that could be, I mean, again, I'm just thinking, you know, what would say you're disrespected as champions? You think you're champions and you deserve more, you know, or championship money and maybe you think you're not getting it. That could be. That are could they aware that these uh, championships are fake? They are not actually. Well, it's not, you know, it's not probably not so much the championship as you're standing in the, in the company. And everybody stand, you know, thinks probably thinks they're standing in the company is higher. You know, everybody thinks they're underpaid, and they and they all are, honestly. You know, the, every one of them is underpaid based on the amount of revenue that the company takes in, and and these people generate. So, um, but um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, again, a lot of this is just speculative. You know, right now they left. It's not a work. Um, as far as you know, what happens next? You know, they sent out a release and then and didn't say anything. You know, didn't indicate anything about what was going on other than clearly, you know, management was upset. You know, there was a situation. I do know that whatever it was, they went to Vince and Vince did not back down, you know, which, which they did not put in the release. You know, I mean, or Vince did not agree to what they were asking and that led to them walking out, um, you know, during the show, which is... Um, you know, kind of a no-no, but again, it can, the, you know, look, if the Kota Ibushi stuff can be smoothed over, which it hasn't been yet, but if it could be, then, then the, you know, I've seen a lot worse get smoothed over, so kind of have to wait and see. Yeah, this is exactly is. like the uh, Steve Austin King of the Ring situation where he walked out and they just buried the guy and then turns out maybe they shouldn't have, uh... but that's exactly what happened here. They buried them here. Talked about taking eight hours to get their match set up and then feeling uncomfortable in the ring, even though they've wrestled with people before and being unprofessional and they're so well, expected to deliver. I, I, and... I, 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 I would be very skeptical that the reason they left was because they were, um, you know, as far as being uncomfortable, you know, I mean, not that I'm not saying that they were comfortable to wrestle, you know, whoever, you know, Dewdrop, you know, or whatever that, you know, or whoever it is. I mean, I'm not saying that that there's no issue there, but I, I don't think that this is over that at all. You know, then Well, no, but this is this is WWE side of the story, obviously, and we've course, not heard their of side of the story. But that is a very, I mean, this is not a, this is a very specific detail, because it's, it specifically says they claim they were uncomfortable in the ring with two of their opponents. So there, there are very specific details here. Something must have happened where they were upset with, Two people. I, I mean, I'm sure there's more to the reasons they walked out, but something must have happened because there's no reason to put that detail in there. That specific detail, if they just, it, it feels hard to believe that that was just completely made up. Oh, I'm sure it's not made up, but I, I'm also 
relatively sure that they didn't walk out over the participants in the match that they weren't comfortable with because, you know, you know, like you could, you could work with, I mean, you know, is it possible that one of the problems was, is they said, why don't we change the match? This makes no sense because of whatever. I mean, you can, and you know, you can look at it just from a a specific uh, standpoint and just go, why is Nikki in the match? She hasn't won a thing. Why would she be in a championship match ahead of, you know, other people that, are pushed much higher. Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, just to be two to be named right there. You know what I mean? Why would they not be in the match? Rhea Ripley was certainly there and certainly a bigger star. Uh, Dewdrop has bar- barely been on television other than the last two weeks, you know, doing a thing with Nikki. So you can look at it in like, if you know, I, and, and again, I don't know that that's worth walking out over. And I don't think that I, again, I don't believe that's what they walked out over at all. I think it's a lot, it's most likely a lot deeper than anything that WWE has said. Because, uh, you know, I mean, people can be temperamental and all, but I don't know that you like, you know, I mean, it, I, 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 again, I've, I've heard that there's more to it than that. So I would say that, um, yeah, I mean, um, but I mean, they didn't go in there and, uh, well, you know, we'll have to wait and see what they do on Friday. Because Friday, you know, Friday they will, be, because they're the champions, they could just kind of like say something and figure out something through the tag team titles, and maybe they'll announce something tomorrow morning. You know, as far as what they're doing with uh, with the tag team titles, or if they can smooth it over. But uh, um, I'm, you know, I've got to figure that there's some major details um, that are left out, and that's why it's hard for me to like. Uh, you know, you don't when you don't know the story, it's kind of hard to make a judgment on the story. I mean, they probably should not have walked out but you know again we don't know what it was that they walked out over and um i mean there's a lot of heat on sasha banks right now as as there would be i mean i've heard from people you know not in management but again they also didn't know the whole story so you know that's kind of what the situation is it's it's an incomplete story hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.